Hi everyone. So as you can see, this is where I have my coffee and tea stuff set up. Like, excuse my yarn cart in the background. But anyway, so and as you can see, I need to neaten it up because the kids that go over there and they make tea or something or they'll get a spoon or a straw and of course you know kids never put anything back so today i am going to organize my tea area and my coffee area so i'm just gonna take everything off of here and set it right here on this table. And this is a candle that I made to look like an apple pie. I just need to dust this off. It got pretty dusty. It's over here by the heat vent. And so I'm gonna use this crate. I bought this crate a while back. And I wasn't using it for anything, so I figured I'll just use it for I don't know, something over here. So, not sure how I'm going to set this up. Dust this off. This is pretty dusty too. I had made this for a event that I did. It was the centerpiece on the table. It's got the red tangled up in it. So I'll get the thread out later. Let's see. This is what I keep my sugars and um, creamers in. And I hope that you all can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so this is what I keep my sugar and creamers in. This is the creamer. I don't know if that is gonna stay like that. Not sure, here's another creamer. And I think I might put my sugars and creamers up there and then I have stirrers stirrers coffee stirrers and so my coffee and spoon my coffee stirrer stirrers and spoons are gonna go in here so I have a whole bag of spoons well I used to have a bag of spoons. My kids got into these. So, and I, I just want them, I just really want them covered up just because I have a cat and the cat sits over there on the steps and, you know, 
I just like if she sneezes or cough or something, I just want that covered up. I'm trying to find the other bag of coffee stirrers and I don't see it, but that is okay. So the spoons will go in here and the coffee stirrers will go in here also just so that they're covered up and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna decorate this this is an old ice cream container and i'm gonna decorate that with some duct tape to cover that up and i'll probably decorate the top too just you know to cover that up and then my straws, I could put right there. So I'm thinking I will put that like that. Hmm, I don't know. These are just measuring spoons. This is a coffee spoon or teaspoon. This came from David's Tea. And this spoon right here came from Tivana. So I could just put that like that. And I'll put this in here. Or maybe I'll sit that right there. This is just some packets of sugar, different kinds like uh, Truvia and uh, Splenda. So we'll set that right there. These are some cup cozies I was working on. This right here is my K-cup refill. And that will go over there. These are giant eagle treat cards. I need to put those in my wallet because I forget those every single time. I'm still trying to figure out what my tea organization is going to be. So this I will set right there. And then I have this coffee timer. or tea timer. It's called Perfect Tea Timer. <coughs> and I think I bought this off of Amazon. Pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of, as far as that goes. I could probably put these in here just to make them a little prettier. And then put that in there. Or I'll set that in here. I never use that. But just really, really something really really simple and I'm wondering if I should put my sugars in here I could do it that way and that's pretty much the gist of it I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my 
like my organization because I have so many. And what I'm thinking about doing is possibly putting another one of these crates on top of here and then I'll use that to store my teas because I have a massive amount of tea. Like I have probably close to a hundred boxes of different teas. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be the gist of it for right now. I may make some changes. I don't know. It just kind of depends. And then here's some cup cozies that I had crocheted. And some I had knitted. And so those could go right there. Yeah, so that's gonna be the gist of that for right now. I'm still trying to figure out like how I'm gonna organize my teas. So hello again. So I am going to organize this tea collection that I have. I have it in some storage crates. So I want to organize it a little bit better. So what I am going to do is I'm going to show you all my tea collection as well as do some organizing so this part will definitely take a while so grab a cup of tea and enjoy so i'm just opening up these bags so that they'll be open because i have like almost a hundred boxes of tea like it is massive my husband said he has never seen anyone with a tea collection tea or coffee collection like mine maybe i should do a tea giveaway what y'all think okay so this one is already baggied up, but this is my Tetley tea. And I will put a few of these in the bag. Put a few of these in here. This is the Giant Eagle brand black tea. And I'm trying to organize it because the one, it's a lot. And the area where I mostly make my coffee and tea, it's not enough room. I mean, I could make room, but I don't want to go through all the heat haul. So what I'll do is I'll just have a few baggies of each kind of tea. This is called Red Rose Original Tea. Few of these. Like, this is going to be a majorly long video because I have like 
boxes of teas, like different brands. And each time I go shopping, I always grab more tea. Maybe a kind that I don't have or a kind that I am low on. And then this is Lipton. And this one is Salida or Salada, Salada. And this is another bag of black tea, but I already have a baggie of that. So I'll just put this Lipton in here. My husband swears by Lipton tea, I'm telling you. And this is the Salada. This is why I opened up those baggies to make it go a little bit quicker because it will probably be very time consuming. If I um, did it each one by one, okay. all right, so we got Bigelow American Breakfast Black Tea and Lemon. And you know what? It's only a few of those, so I'll just go ahead and put all of them in the baggie. I've tried looking for like a tea organizer, but I haven't seen any tea organizers that, and then this is called Vanilla Honey Bush. I'll just put that in there. I forget whose favorite tea that is, but my daughter that has autism, she has a favorite tea that she likes. This is Red Rose. Wonder why it's so glary. Why is there such a glare? But anyway, this is called Peach. Peach Lily Blossom, Red Rose brand. And I don't think I've um, tried this one. I may have. This is called Numi Organic Turmeric Tea. Ember Sun, that's what it's called. And I don't think I have tried this. I might have, I'm not sure. Cause there's 12 in a pack and there is three gone. One of my kids might have tried it. I'm not sure. I have a 17-year-old daughter that likes to meddle with stuff. And she doesn't tell me. She just goes and do it. And I have this tea cup. And what you do is you put your hot water, your water that you're making your tea with, you put it in here and you put your tea bag in here and then the water goes out when you set it over the top over top of the cup it just drains right out and then it has a screen in here that you pop out to clean so I love these okay this is raspberry gardens white tea by celestial
and there is only a few of these so with this type what I do is I take the the flap or the label and I put it with it so that I will know what tea it is That way I know what tea it is instead of having to make it and guess it and still not know. This is a Cy Berry. Just put it in the baggie. This is Salada Thai Ginger Mango. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these in here. And because they have a thing on them, I don't have to take the label. This is Honey Lemon Ginseng Green Tea by Celestial Seasonings. And this has a few in it, so I will take the label since it doesn't come with a label. Because one thing I cannot stand is trying to guess what tea it is. This is Celestial Organics Jasmine Green Tea. So the boxes that are not open, I'm not going to open them. I do that off the air because... Now why is this? So let me see. I think I might have had. Oh, that's a different one. Okay, this is white peach herbal tea. This is Twinnings of London afternoon no English afternoon I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this in one baggie and I love English tea like uh, what do they call it? English breakfast or Earl Grey. Especially the double bergamot. Oh, that just tastes so good. This is candy cane tea. Tastes like a candy cane by Celestial Seasonings. I'm going to put all of this in one baggie. And I'm going to take the label off of it. So that I will know what... Have. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like a candy cane. It smells like a really, really sweet vanilla y candy cane. This is Cinnamon Apple by Lipton. I'm going to just go ahead and put all of these in here. Save some space. Because I have so many boxes. Like, I'm not even done with the first crate. And I've got three over here. And I'm not even done. This is American Breakfast Black Tea and Honey by Bigelow.
So I'm just going to put a few of these in a baggie. And it has a label on it. So I don't have to worry about that. This is Tangerine Orange Zinger by Celestial Seasonings. And there's only one in there. Somebody been drinking it. So I have to get more of that. This is Tulsi Sweet Rose Organic India brand. I buy tea from all around. Like, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I will buy tea. This is Oolong, Fujian Oolong tea. It's a China tea. I've had this for a long time. Very long time. I'm just going to put them all in the baggie. This is Lipton Orange. And I tried this one and it's real good. Tastes like an orange. But you don't want to leave it in the, um, you don't want to leave the tea brewing too long because then it'll get that bitter orange taste. Like, like it's the orange peel or something this is iced lemongrass green a tassel i haven't used none of these yet so i guess i will need to take the label because it doesn't have any labeling on it. This is Salted Caramel by Bigelow. I'll get a few of these. I have not tried these. I think a couple of my kids tried it. This is Twinnings Pure Rubio's Red Tea. And I think each of these crates have let's see, 30 
boxes of tea in them. This is a stash Moroccan mint. You talk about some good tea. It is good. And what I do with my teas is I put creamer in my teas, coffee creamer. Gives a nice creamy, rich taste. This is jasmine green tea by Twinnings. It's not open, so I don't want to take up a lot of time trying to open it. This is Twinnings green tea lemon. This is Linden Leaves Tea by Badia. I saw this in the store and I asked somebody walking by, what do you do with this? And they said you make it just like regular tea. Now on here it says soothing, relaxing. So yeah, it's not open so I'm not going to take up time opening it. This is Asian Pear Harmony by Stash. It's not open, so I'll open that later. This is Bigelow Blueberry and our low tea. So I get a few of those. This is pumpkin tea by Tazo. It's chai pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. Like, I love everything pumpkin spice. I even take regular Lipton tea or just a plain tea that has no flavoring in it, and I take pumpkin pie spice seasoning add like about a maybe a fourth to a half a teaspoon but usually about a fourth because a half a teaspoon is really going to make it strong but brew that with the tea bag oh you talk about good really good and this is Tivana iced passion Tango, and I got that at um, Starbucks. So I'm going to take this label. There's no label on the other ones. I'll put the instructions with it too. And this last one in this first crate is called Lady Grey Tea. So I guess it's like a knockoff of Earl Grey by Twinnings. So I'll take a few of these. I was about to smell it and then it just went everywhere. Doesn't really have a smell since it has the packaging on it. Okay. 
Okay. All right, all right. That's the first crate. The Moroccan mint. And I already have some out, so I won't worry with that. This is Bigelow Egg Noggin. This was a Christmas uh, thing. It comes out around the hol Christmas holiday. So I guess maybe around October, November. I'm going to try to go faster. This is hibiscus tea. And I love hibiscus a lot. So I am going to just put all of those in the baggie. This is T Vive Chamomile. And this is a Dollar Tree brand. So it's only a dollar. And I have not tried this. And it's also not open. So I'll open it later. This is Twinnings Prince of Wales tea. So we'll put a few of those in the baggie. This next one is White Mint by Stash. Told y'all I had a lot of tea. Told y'all I had a lot. Y'all thought I was playing. I wasn't playing. This is Iced Blushberry Black Tea by Tazzle. Since it doesn't have a label on it, I'll use the label from the box. So that way I know what it is. Because I don't like guessing what tea it is. That's just annoying. Okay, this is Awake. English breakfast and I guess this is loaded with caffeine so I'll put a few of these in a baggie This is Darjeering by Twinnings. This is Chamomile. Remember I had showed that. But it wasn't open, but this one is open, so I'll go ahead and put a few packets of it. 
I'm going to probably have to do some more baggies. This is Tazo Refresh Mint. This has never been opened, so I'll open that later. This is Irish Breakfast by Twenty. This is Chamomile Lavender by Bigelow. This is pumpkin spice. I already showed that. This is T Vive Mango Strawberry. And these are a dollar at Dollar Tree. And I'll just put the rest of these in a baggie. This is Twinnings Pure Peppermint. I don't remember if I showed this one, but this is Pure Peppermint. This is Orange Spice. Put a few of those in a baggie. This is not oh, oh it is open. This is ginger peach. Yeah, this is ginger peach by Stash. This is Tazzle Iced Citrus Bliss. This is Tazzle Glazed Lemon Loaf. And when I, when I say it tastes just like a piece of lemon cake, it really does. Oh, okay, so we'll put these in a baggie. These are really good. Okay, so I have one more baggie, then after that I have to open up some more. This is Tazzo Iced Passion Tea. And this is Hibiscus, no, I read that wrong. Luscious Herbal Tea Lemon Ginger by Lipton. So I'll put the rest of these in here.
And I'll open up some more baggies. Okay, this is T Vibe Peach and Passion, and that's not open, so I'll set that over here. This right here is Stash Organic Cascade Mint Tea, and they put a little ladybug on the leaf. How cute! That mint smells good. You can smell the mint through the bag that it's in. Both of these are by Stash. One is Earl Grey and one is Double Bergamot Earl Grey. This is yummy. That's the one I was talking about earlier. Can't smell that through the baggie, but that mint you can. This is bre a breakfast blend tea by Stash. I'm gonna assume that it's supposed to be similar to Earl Grey or English breakfast. I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. I'll have to taste it to see. This is chamomile herbal tea. I can't remember if, and this by stash. I can't remember if I had got these, so I'll just put some more in the baggie just in case. This is coconut mango ulum tea by Stash. So that is it as far as that crate. Now I have another crate. This is Yogi Honey Lavender Stress Relief Tea. I don't think I've ever drunk this. So my kids must have been drinking this. And this is Inca tea. I was at Bed Bath and Beyond and saw this. It's okay. Very pretty packaging. Very pretty packaging and the tea bag is inside of it. I don't know, I have to try it again, but when I have bought it, I have bought all of the flavors that they had there at the time.
and that flavor was oh what I do with that box. This flavor was Taiwan Tawantin black tea. This is Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life. And I've never drunk this. I wonder who messed with it. And this right here is Yogi Ginger Tea. I've not used this either. Why? Wow. See, I buy so much tea that some of them I haven't even tried. And I gotta open up some more bags, of course. Okay, let's see. We have more of the Inca tea, and this is Pacha Pacha Mama Green Tea. Not sure how you supposed to. I don't think I tried all of them yet. And I think they're about $10 a box of the Inca tea. And another box of Inca tea. And this is, this is original Peruvian spiced berry. It looks like I have a graveyard of tea boxes over here. Because some of the boxes are empty. And then here's another Yogi Ginger. This is a Korean ginseng tea. comes in the package like that real pretty how many came in here 10 my kids must have been drinking this tea because it was 10 packs in there and I only have six however but my kids like tea too. One of them doesn't like tea that much, but the rest of them do. 
This right here is Celestial Seasonings Fruit Sampler. It just has different teas. It has raspberry zinger, country peach, wildberry zinger, true blueberry, and black cherry berry. So I'll just put all these in one baggie. And this is Lemon Ginger by Stash. I can't remember if I put some of these in the baggie. So I'm just going to put a few just in case. Told y'all I had a lot of tea. When I say I got the tea, <laughs> I got the tea. Not the gossip tea. Not that kind of tea. This is Earl Grey Lavender. Yes. Lavender. I love Earl Grey and English breakfast. I don't know why, I just love those teas, especially the double bergamot Earl Grey. This is by Uncle Lee's Tea. It says organic bamboo tea, hibiscus. Hibiscus tea is one of those teas that I can actually drink without sugar. So I'm going to put this all in one baggie. I am almost done with this plate and then I have one more container. This right here is a sampler from uh, Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. This right here is from Tivana, and it's Tropical Nut Paradise, and I have like four of those right here. And this is from a place called the Tea Lab. This is called Scottish Breakfast. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it because of the light but Scottish breakfast this is called French breakfast this is called fruit bowl and believe me when I tell you it is good this is by David's tea and it's called shooting star fruit and it is good this is called root beer float and it is good. Anybody, if you wonder if David's teas are good, let me just tell you right now, yes. Their tea, David's tea is so good that sometimes you don't even need to add sugar. Pink lemonade, and it is good. Caramel corn, sangria and I wonder how do they get the sangria to taste sangria-y without alcohol this is just peachy this is cherry snow cone and so for those teas that are like this you would put them in something like this 
because it has the strainer at the bottom. So this is the cherry snow cone, watermelon mint, and cotton candy. It is yum. Oh, okay. Now these teas are from the tea lab and this is Queen of Earl. As you can tell, I love English type of teas. This is passion grapefruit. This is Earl Grey Blue Flower. Yeah, I love those English teas. This is Double Happiness. So some of these teas I haven't even tried yet. This is Orange Grapefruit. This is Earl Grey Lavender. This is Kumbucca Plum, Kumbucha or however you say it, Plum. This is Wild Cherry. This is Tuscan or Tuscan Dreams, Tuscan Dreams. Cream sickle. Hibiscus, y'all. And then my coffee creamer that I put in my teas to give them kind of a creamy type of taste. Makes them taste richer. And this is a thing of tea I bought for my son. These are the Dollar Tree teas because he likes drinking tea and I don't be wanting nobody to mess with my stash. So this is peach passion fruit, pomegranate cherry. Let's see what other kind is in here because I know the day that I went they didn't have much as far as flavors. This is apple cherry. And I think that's gonna be the the gist of it. Yep. And so I'm not gonna sort through these. So that is the bulk of my teas. Cause believe it or not, I do have more. I have more tea. It's just I'm being lazy and I don't feel like getting up to get it. I thought I had all of it, but I don't. I think I have about one, two, three. I have about maybe 10 more. So you get the gist of it. I have a huge collection of tea, like massive. So comment below and tell me what you thought of my tea stash or tea collection. And if you know of a tea that you think I might like, let me know. Or you can send it to me. Just send me a message and I'll let you know where to send it. All right, so that is it. And guess what I'm going to have right now? Of course, a cup of tea. Bye.